another flying reporter video sorry it's been so long um, basically I have been troubled with the weather every time I come up here it's either been really foggy or something similar we had to defrost the plane today so uh, we came up here to the, uh, the flying school at the other side of the aerodrome which catches the Sun early and uh, managed to get the Sun the, the, the aircraft parked into Sun to get the ice and frost defrosted off the wings. Not a very hard frost, but uh, enough to cause us a trouble if we didn't get it sorted. Just warming up the aircraft now. I thought this video could show you kind of what the procedures are here at Biggin Hill. And um, the first thing to note is that before you can take off or land at Biggin Hill, you've got to get PPR, which is not unusual um, by aerodrome standards. The difference with Biggin Hill is you've got to do it online got a very good website that does it. It works very well with the mobile. You can, you have to register. That's the other thing. You have to register, put in your aircraft details, your details and so on. But then once you've done that, it's fairly straightforward and you have to give them 30 minutes notice. I've booked 9.45 departure estimated. It's now 9.50, so I'm running a bit late, but it took a bit longer to defrost the aircraft. They send you an email confirming your flight booking and they give you a PPR number which you need to read back on first contact with them. Whilst I find it difficult flying from aerodromes or flying into aerodromes that don't have full ATC, because I didn't train in that environment, lots of people are nervous about flying from an aerodrome with full ATC like Biggin Hill. They do like it to be done properly and they will tell you if you're doing it wrong. Um, so I'm not going to try and bust that myth. But it shouldn't be something that you're afraid of. I'm going to be departing to the west from Biggin Hill. So it'll be a left turn at one mile from runway 03. Um, that's standard. You can see that in the Pulis guide or on the AIS NATS website. Will be a left turn one mile. That will take us just to the right of Kenley gliding site, which we have to watch out for. Uh, and we'll keep clear of that. We'll head over to the Ockham VOR, then Guildford, down to Hindhead, then south to Goodwood. Then it will be an eastbound track uh, along the coast past Shoreham, we'll probably talk to them. Into the Seaford uh, VOR and then up north uh, east, up to Maidstone and then back into Biggin Hill. Right, the temperatures are coming up into the green so we'll request taxi now. This is the initial call that you'll make from Biggin Hill if, you're, um, if you've landed here and you need to speak to them to uh, set your departure. Pick an approach, Golf Charlie Echo, India Zulu, local. Golf Charlie Echo, India Zulu, pass message. Golf Charlie Echo, India Zulu, parked at EFG. Uh, request uh, taxi for flight PPR 49er, information X ray QNH 1023. Golf India Zulu, QNH, correct, basic service taxi Juliet 103. Basic service taxi Juliet 1, runway 03, Golf India Zulu. Golf India Zulu holding Juliet 1 ready for departure. Golf India Zulu, Squawk 7047, left turn out one mile, clever take off 03, surface wind 080011 knots. Squawk 7047, left turn one mile, clever take off runway 03, Golf India Zulu. SP coming live, 60 knots, air 65, ease it off the ground. In ground effect, accelerate to max rate of climb. Quite a crosswind here. There's one mile. Golf India Zulu basic service report passing will be in the gliding site Kenley to the west of the field which is likely to be active today. There's also Cessna 182 traffic no longer on frequency. Continuing westbound from Kenley you may see that traffic that was reported 2,300 feet that's no longer on frequency. We'll report passing beam Kenley and uh, looking out for that traffic. Thanks, uh, Golf India Zulu.
the visibility is fantastic today. Um, it's a bit of mist over the forests there, just to the east of Guildford. We're five miles east of Ockham, so we're coming over Leatherhead, just to the left of us there. This is Leatherhead here. And that's Fetchum. Is that right? These maps are very difficult to read. I can see a disused aerodrome ahead, which is where the VOR is positioned, I presume. Yeah, three just rounds of 300. the VOR is just in front of it. Yeah, remember, watch and once we reach the Ockham VOR, we will uh, make a left turn. Keeping an eye out for traffic here because uh, these VORs are honeypots for aircraft. Aircraft is flying brilliantly today. Um, started up first time, even even in this cold weather. It's just come out of uh, the maintenance uh, shop. Right, we've just come over the beacon, so we come outbound 230. That's a heading of 219. Look to the left. OK down there, so we'll go around to 219. The air is just smooth as silk as well. So this flight was all about getting my confidence back. And it slowly is coming back. Coming over Guildford. Yeah, so I wanted to get my confidence back. I've, I won't go into details, but I've had a couple of knocks recently. And that combined with a not not flying for a month or more has really sort of built up in my mind and so i wanted to go up on my own just have a nice local flight nothing to worry about nothing too testing and just check that i can still do it and thankfully i've got an absolutely brilliant day to do so they say that you do get these knockbacks your confidence grows in a sort of gradual gradual sort of uh, upward slant if it were to be on a graph and then you'll make a mistake or something will go wrong and that will sort of put you back in your place and that's pretty much what's happened to me and I think it's a natural thing I don't know if perhaps you can comment if you've had any experiences which have done that that must be godalming there surely I used to report around this way. I was based in Guildford at Radio Surrey, as it was, which then became BBC Southern Counties Radio. And we used to report all around here. The Hog's Back, it's all very familiar to me. The A31, Godalming. Right. So at this point, I'm, at, uh, I'm past Guildford. I've got Godalming to my left, which means I can climb to 3,300 feet. Um, I'm going to do that. Peas and peas are in the green, mixture's rich. And let's establish a cruise climb. Get a right rudder to counteract the yaw. Farm Barreto, Gold Star Echo, Mike Whiskey. Gold Star Echo, Mike Whiskey, Farm passing message. Gold Star Echo, Mike Whiskey. The Sky Demon is now warning me that uh, I can't go above 3,000. 500 feet, which was confirmed by my map. There we go. We're at 3,200 feet. P's and P's are green. And we're due to be at our next turning point at 19.5 minutes. So, one of the things that really does help when you're flying is to get ahead of yourself. So the moment you've got a spare moment, think about what you're going to need to do next. So the next nav aid I'm going to need is Seaford on 117.0. decimal zero. probably won't pick that up yet. Actually, I am. Um, but I won't identify it yet. I'm going to switch my DME over to Goodwood, which is uh, 11475. And check that we're really receiving that.
which we are. The Morse code spelling out GWC. There's Dunsfold Aerodrome to the left, where they used to film Top Gear. Now we're going to fly over Goodwood Aerodrome, but I, I don't feel I need to talk to them because I will be flying over it well above its ATZ, so I'm currently 3,200 feet. Got quite risky converging traffic north of you by a mile and a half left to right indicator. Which is all, which is already a thousand feet above the ATZ. Uh, looking for that traffic. Um, I'll, that prob traffic site is I'll probably climb higher. Notice how not on a day like today, I don't have to do anything with the controls. The plane is virtually trimmed. Got a slight climb here, which I'll just offset. Bit of trim down. The plane is holding steady. It's not, you know, if you let go of the controls, it's not going to suddenly fly off. It's a stable aeroplane. Even in turbulence, to be honest, it it would it would right itself. So we can climb. We're six miles to the north now of um, Goodwood. And I can climb up to 4,300 feet now, which I'm going to do. So just have a good look ahead of me. Can't see anything. Mixture's rich. Bit of right rudder to counteract the yaw. Let's bring that nose up for a cruise climb. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Now I can fly over Goodwood without talking to them because I'm above their ATZ, but that's not the only reason. They also don't have instrument procedures. They don't have any instrument traffic using an instrument procedure. Because if an aerodrome has an instrument procedure, it will invariably mean that traffic is circling and holding and following a procedure. Above it and near to it. So blasting through an ATZ or, or a final approach track of an aerodrome that has an instrument procedure is asking for trouble. We're overhead uh, Goodwood now. We're going to be making a turn next to a heading of 104. We'll put that on our heading bug to remind us. There's the motor racing circuit. Probably see that, the Goodwood motor racing circuit down there. Oh, that's the horse racing circuit, actually, not the motor racing circuit. Golf Eddie Zulu would like to change frequency to Sean Approach 123 decimal 150. Do you want me to return to you afterwards, or is it uh, east frequency? In your city, after sure I'm going to east, I'll pass a strip across there, where I was there, 123225. Roger, we'll go to east afterwards. Do you want me to keep the score? Golf Indies. In your city, uh, keep the score until changed by uh, Shoreham. Bye-bye. Okay, -bye. Okay, Golf Indies. Shoreham Approach, Golf Charlie Echo, India Zulu, basic service. Golf Charlie Echo, India Zulu, Shoreham Approach, Bar Steve Hill. Good morning, Golf Charlie Echo India Zulu, PA28, Biggin Hill to Biggin Hill VFR. Currently 10 miles to the west of you, tracking along the coast, uh, 4,100 feet, QNH 1023 with Delta. Uh, would like to just pass uh, to the south of your zone, heading eastbound. Golf India Zulu, Roger, two aircraft at east, nothing known at your level. Sure on QNH, uh, as you know, 1023, Squawk 3763 for basic service. Squawk 3763 for basic service, uh, looking for the traffic to the east, Golf Indigen. And Golf Indigen reports out of him. OK, Golf Indigen. I should use this opportunity whilst we're going slow and there's a bit of time to pass to thank everyone for uh, supporting me on the channel. It really does mean a lot. Um, obviously, I take a great amount of pleasure from doing the flying, just about the same amount of pleasure making the videos for you, and so it's, 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 a, it's another very satisfying and rewarding to know that you enjoy the videos, and you seem to enjoy them, so thank you for watching them. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, that would really help a lot, because then 
you usually get an Im email or a notification to let you know that there's a new video out. So if you if you can subscribe, that would be fantastic. I've got a Facebook site which has got uh, little reports and write-ups from my journeys. I've got some frequently asked questions on uh, my website, and I'll continue to populate those as we go along. So just passing the um, the I-360, which is a big tower that they've built in Brighton, an observation tower. It's a little pod that goes up and down. You can ride it for a fee. It's uh, down on the ground at the moment. I suspect if that's working today, I suspect uh, that's getting a lot of use. And then uh, just in front of it is the uh, what remains of the West Pier. Believe it or not, in my career as a reporter, I have sat on that pier when it was still there. And it's, Jordan, uh, it's morning, suffered weather damage. It's had, I think, two fires. And all that remains is a little bit of it. It's very sad. They were going to restore it, but then it caught fire. And then following the next one along is uh, Brighton Pier, formerly known as the Palace Pier, which I think is being renamed, or may have already been renamed, the Palace Pier, which is the fun pier. That's got all the rides and amusements on it. By Candy Floss and Popcorn and the like. And then the next uh, structure here is the Brighton Marina. We can approach Golf Charlie Echo India Zulu inbound. Golf Charlie Echo India Zulu, we can approach. Good morning, pass your message. Golf Charlie Echo India Zulu PA28 PPR49. Ten miles to the southeast, uh, altitude 2,300 feet. 1023 with Bravo request joining instruction. Golf India Zulu, Squawk 7047, join from the east. Support with three miles to run for a dead side join. Runway 03, left hand circuit, aerodrome QFE 1001. Well, there you go, everyone. In terms of a confidence-boosting flight, that went very well. Beautiful day, beautiful winter's day. So if you do like the video, it would mean a lot to me if you hit the like button. I will try and get back up in the air very soon. All the best.